Mexican drug pirates. Well, Republican Congressman Lou, Louis Gohmert of Texas joins us now. He's a co-sponsor of the National Guard Border Enforcement Act. Good morning, Congressman. Good morning. Did, Good to be with you. What a shocking story. Six gunmen allegedly chased this couple while they were out for a leisurely afternoon on their jet skis and ended up shooting the husband dead. Do you have an update on this for us? Are the suspects in custody? Well, as far as we know, they're not. And in fact, we're still, as I understand, is still trying to find his body. But it would be uh, really shocking, except that this is like the fifth reported incident uh, this year. This is not anything new. And the response has been kind of like in the uh, 32 miles of wilderness area along the Arizona Mexico border. We put up signs, we've given out warnings saying, hey, warning, we're giving over this area to foreign people who are dangerous risk to you. We took an oath to support and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. We've had all this time, 84 bills this week. We've congratulated. We've named weeks for things and months for things. We've done all these different things except do what we took an oath to do, support and defend this place. And whether the enemies yeah. are foreign or domestic, we owe it to the people of the United States to defend them, not just send out warnings. Right, sending out warnings. And this is exactly what the Texas Department of Public Safety says. They say they issued a warning for this. I'll read their statement to you. We believe the members of a drug trafficking organization are linked to a drug trafficking organization who are heavily armed using AK-47s, AR-15 rifles to threaten their victims. They appear to be using local Mexican fishermen to operate the boats to get close to American fishermen. This was a warning they issued. So Americans waking up this morning scratching their heads saying, this is America. How is this happening? Why aren't we doing anything more about this? Well, and it's, it, that was uh, the Texas DPS, but we, as we've seen from Arizona, if a state tries to defend themselves, as Arizona has, and, and they've got that wilderness area where we put up a sign saying, American citizens, go north of here because uh, we've given this over to foreign drug smugglers who are dangerous and armed. I mean, we should not be putting up signs. We have an obligation to protect American citizens, and all this stuff that we've done, I know that we've, it's, it's been been really busy, you know, the things that we've been doing, like uh, the five 9-11 uh, planners were ready to plead guilty. We've been busy trying to give them a show trial for two years, but this is something we got to do. So, we so, got to protect America. So, so, Congressman, you're the co-sponsor of this bill that calls for, I believe, 10,000 more right. National Guardsmen along right. the border there. How would that have helped in this lake incident? How would it have helped if we had people on this 60-mile lake who were out there to protect American citizens, then the bad guys know they've got to go somewhere else. You see that all the time in police action. If people know that you are going to defend your land, then they go somewhere else. Hmm. Congressman Louis Gohmert, thank you for joining us this morning from Dallas and bringing us the story. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you so much for bringing this to life. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, coming up, a color